Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. When starting off in the game, there's a few things you really must get when you first start out, and most of those are gained by going and harvesting these massive vines coming up from the sea floor. From the start off pod, turn around, and from the back of the pod, head straight. You'll see them, you can't miss them, as long as you've got good, and I mean good, visibility. So no point doing this when it's dark, you'll just get disorientated. Head towards these vines, these creeper vines. You'll have your scanner by now, and if you haven't, check out my video on how to get the scanner. Once you approach it, you'll see a big creeper vine with little postules on it. Little beads, little seeds, right? Get over there, get scanning with your scanner, and then pick these creep vine seed clusters. Once you've got those, head on back as soon as you can to your escape pod. Now this is where the game really starts to open up. Get over to your fabricator with your creep vine seed clusters in your inventory and select to make silicon rubber. Once you've made silicon rubber, you will then unlock the blueprint to make fins, flippers. Get around the subnautica environment a little bit quicker and quintessential for any diver. Once you've done that, it's then time to make some more silicon rubber and with some titanium in your inventory, you can then craft another helpful item called the knife or survival knife. So once you've made that, silicon rubber, down to tools, and then make the knife. The survival knife is one of the first weapons you'll get in the game. With this knife and with this knife selected, you're then gonna be able to go and get some additional items. Head out of your escape pod and back to where you found the creeper vines by heading directly out the back of the escape pod and heading straight. Get your knife out and start cutting down and slashing at those creeper vines. Then head back to your pod and start to access the fabricator. This item here now will allow you to create some really important items such as a medical kit and also the oxygen tank for which you're gonna need a little bit of fiber mesh from the creeper vine that you've just cut and some titanium as well. So I cut off a few lengths of creeper vine and was able to straight away with two titanium and one fiber mesh to make the standard O2 tank. This will allow you to survive underwater in subnautica a little bit longer. Also really important is the first aid kit. Again, a little bit of fiber mesh will go a long way. Now, not only from creeper vines, are you able to make lubricant, silicon rubber, and your fins, but now you've also got a knife, and you've got an oxygen tank, and you've got a first aid kit. Things are really starting to get going on Subnautica. Enjoy the game, like and subscribe if you haven't already done so, and I'll catch you in the next video. See you soon.